So this is actually a 10-12 roof, not quite 45 degrees. And I, I had sort of planned on having them all mounted, one, two, three, and three more there, and three more there. But um, I have them down here because this will offers me some adjustability in the uh, angle. So right now, middle of June, it's 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 pretty good as far as that goes. But in the winter here, it needs to be at a much much steeper angle to catch the little amount of sun that's low in the air, and this would allow me to just loosen this part up, slide down here, slide the solar panel up, and in order, in essence, increase that angle. So I'm still thinking about that. You can see these are mounted on, these are made by Iron Ridge, and they're called the Flash Foot 2. And actually, they're really quite well made. Let me show you what it looks like in the box. This is the box that it came in. And this is what came in my box. Um, instructions and then you get four of these. And they actually are really quite well made. These um, machined or I don't know how they're made, but these aluminum feet will screw on either in that orientation or that way to allow you some options. And then this will just so you just take this, essentially what happens, there's a little more to it. You just slide this under the shingles, slide it back to about here, as far as you can get. You're going to run into more nails when you get up to there. And then you're going to drive one of these nice stainless screws are going to go in through that. Um, and that is going to go um, into the rafter inside. And I'm going to show you that in a second. And you just pop this sucker on there. And then you're going to bolt your rack on, and I'll show you that now. So these are some of the things I got when I bought this used, is, is it had these cross members that go, they're 10 feet long, I think. And you take two of those, and you bolt this down to that. And then this foot actually bolts into this channel right here. And so it's completely adjustable. You can slide that. You can make it fit wherever. Um, obviously, you know, back and forth, it's easy to adjust as well. Now I've got just four of them holding on. And technically, I think you probably want to have three per side, just to make sure. You want to check your local code and see what's required for that. Uh, you can see these cost me, you know, about uh, twelve and a half dollars each. Um, all four of them for fifty dollars. I had to pay shipping, so whatever. It's uh, worked out to be about fifteen, sixteen bucks a piece. So you can see it's easier for me because I can get to the underside of my roof where these solar panels are mounted. What I did starting down here at the at the very edge is I drilled a pilot hole from the bottom up, so I knew, you know, where my hole was going to be. And then I actually added that 2x6 that goes along there and I just screwed it in a bunch of places. Um, there's a, there's a, I guess a horizontal 2x6 um, that goes up there. So I screwed this one on and that's what the solar panel is screwed into. I then sistered another 2x4 on the 2x6 rafter over here where the other part of it goes. Oh shit. I totally missed it. <laughs> okay, that's bad. I gotta redo that one. Yeah, oh, nice work. Um, well, the one down here is screwed into this 2x4, which is sistered onto this 2x6, and that one uh, I will fix. I'm gonna have to move it over, fill that hole in, um, although it will be covered up nicely with the uh, flashing from the uh, solar mount uh, and just adding the extra uh, 2x4 in here um, one was supposed to tell me exactly where to put the, um, the mount but also to give that particular uh, rafter some extra support um, so that I don't have to worry about it 
Boeing my roof. I don't think it's going to at uh, this angle with those three panels, but um, it's a little extra uh, support for that. Oh God, that was terrible. Look at that. So it starts right here and you can see it gets out of line by the time it's at the top. I don't know what I was thinking. Nice, really good job. So that's the foot. I gotta move that over about an inch and a half. Ugh. All right. I'm glad I found out now before I got all the rest of the panels up there. Okay, that went a lot easier than I thought it was gonna, except for the fact that it's really, really hot and humid out right now. Uh, that's lined up a lot better now. Uh, the other thing I found that was that I had forgotten the bracket up at the top corner up here, so <laughs> again, uh, yeah, it's my first time, but uh, double check all those things obviously. You're going to want to wait until the uh, sun is directly overhead and it's at least 90 degrees so that if you were to touch the roof with any part of your skin, you'd immediately burn yourself. It's just much more pleasant that way. I've got my mark at 24 inches right here. I've already installed that 2x4 uh, adjacent to the rafter underneath here. So now we're going to stick our and uh, actually with the roof as hot as it is it was pretty easy to get it up underneath this shingles and then it's got these marks on the side to make sure that it's to make sure that it's straight in there. So pretty much there, but it's even down here. And then this was my mark right here, so it should be right on. I'm gonna drive that screw in now. Okay, so that's just one, and then I'm gonna put two more going up there. I'm gonna be make sure that they all hit the uh, rafter underneath. So once you get the two ends um, connected to that beam, then you can mount that one in the middle uh, right up next to the, right up next to that uh, beam and you'll know it's right on. So I've got these bottom two done. Now I gotta figure out exactly where the middle one goes. So this is my pet peeve about this whole solar in industry. You can't buy anything retail. And these rails, which are 10 feet long, are really too long to ship via UPS, so they have to be brought in on a special truck. There are available two five-foot sections that you can splice together, but all of those seem to have been sold out. So, uh, you know, any of the local stores won't sell you those because they don't want people to do this on their own. God forbid they find out that it's not worth having someone install it for $30,000. So I made my own rails out of treated dimensional lumber. I made two of them, but then decided to use that one aluminum one. And uh, so I really only needed one, so I just bolted the two together to make them doubly strong. Well, this is awesome. It's so hot up here, I actually melted the sole right off my sandal. And I show you the uh, roof temperature right now. Uh, 141 degrees. Oh, uh, you don't want to do it when it's any colder than that. That wouldn't be any fun. So I think I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, I want to remind you again, this is not really a how to do these things because I don't know. I've never done it. I'm not an expert. It's a 
how I did it type of thing. Um, pretty sure they're not going to fly off the roof. That's, you know, things you want to remember. It's not about, well, it's, it's mostly about making sure these things don't fly off and kill somebody in a storm and uh, you have them wired properly so you don't start anything on fire or electrocute anybody. Um, you know, I really urge you to have someone else do it for you or make sure that you are reading up in the instructions on how to do it. Get it inspected. Do it safely. Don't fall off the roof. Um, the other thing, make sure that your roof is strong enough to bear the load of these things. That was part of the reason why I added the uh, 2x4s next to the 2x6s or 2x8s. I guess I guess they're probably 2x6s in the rafters to make sure that there was plenty of strength to hold these up. They're not that heavy, but um, if you look at the specifications um, for roof load, um, this roof down here wasn't strong enough um, to do it. So, you know, make sure you uh, do a lot of reading and do a lot of looking around more than just this video. This is just, yeah, not, this shouldn't be your, your avenue of information, just maybe a place to find some other ideas. All right, I'll uh, be back with the next part. Um, these, these have to get mounted up, and I'm going to do a different um, system on here to make them more adjustable. I haven't quite figured it out yet, but I'm going to work on that and put that up at some point in the future.